everyone, it's Adrian, and I am back at What's up everyone, it's Adrian, and I'm back at you with another iPhone video. Now this time I am doing the top 10 hidden iOS 10 features. So for all y'all with iOS 10 or an iPhone 7, buckle your seatbelts. So if you guys have been following my videos for a while, you would know that I had some major iPhone problems and I finally, finally got an iPhone 7. I wasn't even planning on getting one, but then my phone was so broken and it was actually the same price as an iPhone 6S. So I was like, okay, iPhone 7 it is. So I got the 256 gigabyte gold iPhone. And ladies and gentlemen, if we can get this video to 10,000 thumbs up, I will do a what's on my iPhone video next weekend. So let's get it to 10,000 likes. But before we get into the video, I wanted to let you guys know very first that I am doing an iPhone charging case giveaway. I'm giving away one of these Apple iPhone charging cases that I have. Basically your phone can stay at 100% for like two days straight. So I'm giving one of these away with my friend Morgan Yates who is also here on YouTube. So we are both doing this giveaway. All you need to do to enter is click the link directly in my bio and it just makes sure that you are subscribed to both of our channels and you will also follow us on Instagram as well to enter. So yeah, those are the only two things you need to do to enter and we will be announcing on Instagram on November 5th the winner of this case. So be sure to follow us on Instagram. We will be checking. Okay, without anything else to say, let's get into the video. So hidden feature number one is that you can turn on or off red receipts for specific people. Now before you were only able to turn them on or off for all of your texts in general. But now if you go into your text messages and click on a person and click the eye in the upper right hand corner, if you scroll down, you can actually turn on or off the toggle that says send red receipts. So you might have someone that you don't wanna see if you've read their text. Easy fix, easy fix. Number two, the Photos app on your new iOS 10 device has a new feature where you can actually search for a keyword and it'll show up with pictures that match that keyword. For example, if you type dog in, it'll show you all the pictures you have of dogs. If you type beach, it'll show you all the pictures that you took either at a beach or with a beach in it. How cool is that? Like technology is so smart, it freaks me out sometimes. Feature number three, your iPhone can now be turned into your very own personal magnifying glass that is so accurate and like scary zoomed in. To access this magnifying glass, all you have to do is tap the home button three times. But first, you need to go into your settings, click general, click accessibility, then click on magnifier and turn it on. From there, you just tap your home button three times and it'll turn into a dope magnifying glass. Not only will you be able to zoom in super far, but you can also change the contrast, change the color tone. Basically, you can customize it so that you can see whatever you're looking at really closely. Hidden feature number four. Now you can ask Siri to take a selfie. Hey Siri, take a selfie of me. And there we have it. You do still have to physically hold the button to take the picture, but it just opens up your selfie cam right away. How perfect for us millennials. <laughs> Hidden feature number five. Do you sometimes have so many Safari tabs open that you just really don't even know what to do with yourself and you really don't want to individually close them all? Well, how convenient for you that now iOS 10 has a mechanism where you can close all your tabs at once. All you do is simply go to Safari and click the little icon in the lower right hand corner and hold down on it. It'll give you the option of closing all your tabs right there. Poof, they're gone. Feature number six. So in my last iOS 10 features video, I did talk about the memories feature in the photos app, but I kind of realized that you can actually export those videos and share them on social media or send them to your friends. And I never knew you could do that. You may have already known that, but I think that is super cool. Hidden feature number seven. We all know that when you swipe up on your phone, you get to your control center. Well, did you know that with 3D touch now, you can actually hold down those buttons and get different customizable options. For example, if you hold down the flashlight button, it gives you the option of having bright light, medium light, or low light. If you tap and hold the timer button, it gives you the option of doing one minute, five minute, 20 minutes, or one hour timer right there. And if you hold down the camera button, it lets you have the option of taking a photo, recording in slow-mo, recording a video, or taking a selfie. Feature number eight, this is called emergency bypass. A lot of people don't know you can do this. Basically what this allows you to do is add certain contacts where if they call you, no matter if your phone is on do not disturb or night mode or silent, it'll still ring. This is what you wanna do. Simply go into their contact and click edit. From there, scroll down to where it says ringtone and click on it. On that screen, it should give you the option to emergency bypass someone. That means if you turn this on, that they'll be able to reach you no matter what setting your phone is on. Pretty important in case of an emergency, just saying. Hidden feature number nine. Did you know that you can doodle on your photos just like you can on Snapchat and Instagram? Well, you can. All you do is go to the photo you want to doodle on, click edit, and then click the button with the three dots and it'll say mark up photo. If you wanna mark up your photo, go right ahead. You have a whole color palette waiting for you to choose. From. And last but not least, hidden feature number 10 is that you can now put your images in low quality image mode. What that means is that when you receive text messages and someone sends a picture, it won't show up in full quality, which basically is saving you a lot of data. So if you're someone like me who doesn't have unlimited data, 
this is very helpful. All you do is go to settings, messages, and then low quality image mode. All right, you guys, that is it for my hidden features of iOS 10. Let me know you like this video by giving it a thumbs up. And remember, if we get to 10,000 thumbs up, I will do a what's on my iPhone video next weekend. So get that done. Be sure to subscribe. I love you guys. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.